Okay, I wanted to make a video this morning because I have been seeing so many bitter ass men make statuses on Facebook, posting videos talking about about women. Talking about, oh, I don't want to have to come up out of my pocket um, for dates. I don't want to have to do this and then she doesn't like me. Then I'm out of all this money and time that I done put into her. Okay, to me, that just sounds crazy. And um, I'm going to tell you why. Because in this lifetime, you're supposed to attract your compliment. Like, how are you constantly putting down women, all women, all the time, talking about she's not worth this and that. You know, you don't want to take your time to get to know her, provide um, intellectual conversation, you know, spend time, um, whatever. Why, why would you not want to do that? So, us women, we're not stupid, okay? Because this, look, this is why you're asked to single right now, is because number one, you're either just sexually objectifying us, or number two, you're gay. And let me tell you um, why I say you're gay. So, if a man is constantly talking about women, constantly putting down women all the time, the one thing that you were supposed to love, being a man, is other women, you are gay. You, you are the man that would be, like, on the down low um, that we would have to worry about. You know, why, why talks about, about women calling us bitches, hoes, whatever. You're not, you're not supposed to do that. That's why you can't find a woman now. So, um, you know, and if you're too cheap to take a woman on a date, which really, she can take herself on that date. If you got to count pennies to go to a restaurant then you should not be worrying about dating anyways. Okay, boo? You need to get yourself a better job, an education, learn a trade, something. That's what your priority should be. How are you going to buy a house or take care of babies? It's just not happening. That doesn't make black women gold diggers. It just means we have common sense. That's all. Because if we can offer those same things and provide those same things to our families, why would we want a man around that doesn't bring anything to the table? And I'm not just talking about money, finances, um, materialistic things. I'm talking about quality of life. So why would we want somebody around us that could not help improve the quality of our life that would not compliment us? Okay. Because I'm, I'm really just not getting all these, all these statuses I'm seeing from these bitter-ass men. You know, just talking about, oh, she ain't worth it. You know, don't do this with women. Don't take them on dates. Like, you guys are still kind of brainwashed if you really believe <laughs> that, um, you know, us black women are just supposed to skip the entire courting process and pop out, like, five babies for you. No, that is not how it works, Okay. Stop being influenced by the media. They're lying to you. Stop being influenced by that bullshit. You know, turn the TV off. Because you just sound, you sound gay. You sound anti-woman. That's, that's what you sound like. So anytime I see a status and I see a bitter ass man complain about women, I'm like, yeah, he's about to cross over to the other side. Us women, that's how we're looking at you guys. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say today because um, I've just been seeing these statuses. It's just crazy to me. You guys have a good rest of the day. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm feeling well. And I want to make it known that I think I might do a video this week or next week on Caitlyn Jenner, the person known as Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, who has been named Woman of the year and people are upset about it considering that but I'm digging for mineral information before I go ahead and proceed with that video but today I want to talk about what you just saw and what I just saw and what you just saw was a woman named Crystal and what Crystal has done is uh, pretty much said that men who don't want to pay for dates and say anything negative about women or women in general any, any, any guy who fits the description of the men that she's talking about posting these Facebook statuses that they are either bitter or homosexual 
Now, for her to call those men homosexual is completely ridiculous. I mean, think about it. There are plenty of women with homosexual male friends. And they have all kinds of fun together to act like they're all girls together. And typically, homosexual men do not say anything bad about women, or all women or women in general. They don't. And some of them don't even say anything about women, good or bad. So for her to say that is just, I, I, that's what I would call dishonest. Maybe you would call it something else, but it's just an opinion. It's wrong. It's incorrect. But then on our side, you get bitter. Well, I gotta imagine that if she was taking men on dates and paying for dates, and she didn't get what she wanted out of those dates or get anything out of those dates, whether it be sex, intellectual conversation, maybe some good uh, business leads, whatever it may be, she would feel like taking men on dates was worthless. Now, in order, excuse me, so therefore, it would make more sense that men who are not getting what they want out of, uh, out of women, when they take them on dates, they're not bitter. They're being rational. They're not being bitter, they're being rational. And I don't know if this woman's heard of the red pill or not, but well, the red pill is uh, grow, growing stronger these days. And more men are opting out of dates, marriage, having kids. Now, to say that as a man, you should naturally want a woman, I actually do agree with that. Now, we live in a society where there are things that are not natural going around here. Okay? So you got to remember that. Everything that's going around today in 2015 is not natural. Now, with the way current state of women, is it natural to be, you know, stop and say, hey, you know what? I don't think I want to pay for days with these women. Women are... I'm just saying men and women have both gotten larger and well typically speaking men don't want large women they don't I'm just saying generally speaking they don't we do not and women have gotten well I've got nastier attitude now what everybody must understand is that we live in an age where women are having divorce parties. These parties are even bigger than the marriage ceremony like getting divorced is so much greater than getting married and they're profiting from this. Now men still pay the majority of alimony, the majority of spousal support, whatever you want to call it, child support, all that. And men are footing the bill for these things. Now, is it really irrational for a man to say, hey, you know what? I'm not falling into that trap. I'm good. No, I'm not going for that. If, if there's any women li listening to me and saying, no, it is not rational for him to say, I want to opt out of that. You, you are probably lying to yourselves. Just want to let you know that. Now, she said that, you know, these women can pay for their own dates. Well, if they can pay for their own dates, maybe they should take a man out on a date every once in a while. Or both parties can split the checks so that no one feels like they took somebody out on a date and instead they can feel like they went out on a date instead of taking someone out on a date. If you understand what I'm trying to say. So, that's just my two cents. Miss Crystal, you, you, your uh, logic is ridiculous. It doesn't even make sense. No, that doesn't necessarily make a man better. I could tell you what may, may make a man better. What may make a man better is getting taken to the cleaners and losing out big time in divorce. 
Just consider what men go through next time before you make a video about this. Remember everybody, power is yours.